would like to share my, I'm Dr. Cheryl Child. I'm a, I practice osteopathic medicine, anti-aging uh, for 20 some years, but as of November of last year, I am also a full-time trilogy. <laughs> share with you what I actually have some, there's some personal significance to this conference for me. Uh, even most of my own coaches don't know this. I grew up here, uh, about out in Fairfax County, and all my life I wanted to help people. But I took a year off from UVA and went over to India in 1973 and studied meditation. When I came back, I wanted to raise the consciousness of the world. Uh, remember when hippies wanted to raise everybody's consciousness? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I would do it through the <laughs> I thought I would do it through theater, went back to UVA and majored in drama, came back and worked down, uh, lived downtown here in our DuPont Circle, actually acted on a stage a few miles from here. It, it really didn't work out very well. <laughs> but about that time, a priest came into my life and he asked me what I was doing with my life while well, I had no clue. Um, and he suggested, he said to me, you know, you'd be a great doctor. Have you ever heard of osteopathic medicine? No, I had not. But when I looked it up, I found that the founding father of that over 100 years ago said, the body has the ability to heal itself, and the underlying structure of a body determines its function or how it works. That should sound vaguely familiar to most of you. So I decided to become a doctor, and actually 35 years ago this month, I moved away from D.C. to pursue a career in medicine and decided, well, I'll raise consciousness one person at a time. Uh, that was 35 years ago. Fast forward, obesity has gone from 14 to, or 15 to 34 percent. I was part of that statistic. Um, our structures, social, with devastating consequences, uh, our structures are completely dysfunctional. Individuals are not, have lost the sense of connection with each other. Their lives are fragmented. And mostly feel, people feel like they have lost control of their lives. And doctors, in my experience, have basically given up. Probably everyone on this stage has been at a lecture where the, the summation point was, when diet and exercise don't work, here's the drug or the surgical intervention. They are assuming that people cannot change anything. They're assuming that lifestyle, where in fact lifestyle changes can res be responsible for a majority of the dissolution of most of the conditions they're treating. But the whole system is basically rigged to maintain that presumption that patients are the victims of circumstances and can't change anything. And the entire system, including individuals, are totally in the reactive mode. Even, I must admit, myself, when I went through the program, became a coach five years ago, I lost 48 pounds, I was teaching to be slim, but it was not, it was not at all until this book came along and the habits of health, the, the companion guide. And there it was again. The body can heal itself, people can heal themselves, and the underlying structure determines function, but it was no longer just about anatomy. It was about changing the structure up here. Because the, the, the fix for obesity, is it's not out there, it's in here. And when we can find out as a physician, look at our patients and find out what it is that they want to create, what optimal health means to them, then we can drop them into this absolutely perfect structure of our system, the five-in-one program, the habits of health, and the bio network, as well as the health coach who recreates and reorients patients towards becoming the primary creative force in their own life. And that's health, weight loss happens, but more than that, People's lives are transformed. This is truly the single most important agent of change that I have ever discovered in my life. So here I am 35 years later, I'm back in DC and I'm on a stage again. And <laughs> and empowering thousands of people. And it's because of you that that's happening as well. And it's because those people want to be there. So I would like to challenge you. Uh, you know, you have the same exact business that every single one of us have on the stage. You have the same business the person on the right and the left of you has. 
I would like to ask you if you really understand, and after listening to all of these people, I think you have an understanding, I hope, of the actual power of what you hold in your hands. What are you going to do with it? Thank you. Thank you.